Hi and welcome back. My name is Bess and I'm here to give you your well-earned wellow break. A chance to take some time out for you. And October's a really important month because it's Queensland Mental Health Week on the 10th of October. And their theme this year is time out for you. So let's take some time out and let's do a little doodle. All you need is a post-it note and I'm using a black pen. We're gonna start off with a little circle at the bottom, just a small one. And I'm gonna do a line across and bring it out at the front and I'm just going to colour in that part of the circle. Now I'm going to do a little walking stick kind of shape, so curve up and straight down. From there I'm going to do two lines coming out with a circle on the end and another line and a circle on the end. Now I'm going to do a kind of upside down V shape and a second one and on the end of that, I'm gonna do two little circles. This is my little symbolic person sat down with his knees raised. Let's just sit him on some ground. And now we're going to put him in the environment where he is. And we're gonna do, don't be too worried about getting a perfect shape, but we're gonna start and we're gonna curve it in and then we're gonna curve it out and I want to repeat the same shape on this side curve out curve in and curve out either side of those curves let's put two little circles and then we're going to do a long kind of leaf shape one above and one below same on this side, one above and one below. You could put a couple little lines on for some pattern. And then we're going to join that base up. And I'm just going to zigzag a bit of colouring in. And we're going to do the same on the top. Just gonna zigzag some coloring in. Can you see what it is now? That's right, it's an old hourglass. An old hourglass, which is the epitome, the symbolic epitome of time. This is our sand at the top. We're gonna just draw some lines through our central funnel. And we're just gonna trail that sand into a funnel down towards. Maybe this is how you feel. Maybe you're feeling at the moment drowning underneath the pressure and the burden of what's above you, underneath the burden of, I don't know, your, your work, your home life. Maybe you've got too many balls in the air and you can't catch them all. I've certainly felt like that before and that's okay. But look what we can do. We can adapt our picture and we can change it. If I give this little guy here a bucket, put a, a little pail on it, and let's give him a spade as well. Let's give him a bucket and a spade inside his little world, which means he can start building sandcastles. So instead of this sand filling up and overwhelming him, he can start to build a new way forward. He can change essentially what this picture should look like, which is him drowning in all the sand. Instead, he's using What's going to happen, the inevitable falling of the sand, he's using it to reinvent, 
He's using it to rebuild. He's changing the dynamic and the future of what we think it should be into something that's going to work for him. Now he's got all of these little sand castles around him, nice and strong. The volume of the sand is still there. The inevitable is happening. But instead of it piling up over and over and over him, he's creating some art, essentially. He's creating a little world, some sculptures, And eventually, when it's run out, he'll be able to pile it up on one side or the other side, stand up and get clarity. So, if you're feeling a slight overwhelm at the moment, if you're feeling like you need a break, use creativity, use art to help you just shake off some stress Enjoy the process of creating a leaf shape, a circle, a wobbly line. Help to jot down your feelings in a piece of paper. And it's only paper. It's not here. And if you, forever, if you don't want it, you can screw it up and you can throw it away. Or you can keep it as a memory. You could write, do one for every day of the week for a week. This is day one, another one day two, and they will help you to see the progression. It will help you to feel a sense of accomplishment, achievement, and if nothing else, it's quite fun. I hope you've enjoyed your Wello break today. I'll see you for the next one. Bye.